Hey friends, it's Crystal. Welcome or welcome back. Whether you are new or returning, we are so glad to have you here. I'm about to lose my voice. I'm sick today, so I'm going to try to hurry and get through this so I can get this video posted before I am down for the count. But I have 14, <coughs> 14 ideas I'm going to share with you. I'm so sorry for February booth merchandise. Now, if you're looking for true antique and vintage, I have a few of these ideas, but it's going to mostly be um, newer stuff, so this is probably not the video for you, but I know a lot of you aren't into Valentine's Day, and I'm really not either, but some of your customers will be, so it's always good to have a few things in there for them, and these first few photos are from a blog called Welch House 1900. I'll make sure to link her below, but these beautiful old candy boxes are very hot items, and they are so hard to come by. especially like the pale blue colors. This one sold on eBay <clears throat> for $94. And this one sold for $61. And then be on the lookout for vintage ephemera. That's anything from old greeting cards and letters, to paper products like off of advertisements or old candy boxes. <clears throat> and these two photos are from Magpie Ethel. I'll make sure to link her below. She is going to be our featured guest today, so make sure and stay until the end. And then be on the lookout for old tins and containers and apothecary jars because these are fun to fill with the candy. And I love how someone took an old suitcase and did the apothecary jars for this little vignette. This is so pretty. And then glassware, you want to be looking for your reds and your pinks, <clears throat> like your goblets, your wine glasses. This one's from the Shabby Chicas. And then, of course, coffee mugs. You can find these anywhere. And these are also fun to just take a clear cello bag and kind of wrap around it like an Easter basket, but tuck some candy down in it and tie it with a pretty bow. And then you have an instant gift for your customers to grab and go. And then, of course, vintage vases, especially if you have milk glass vases. <clears throat> I used to do these in my old booth, and I would take carnations, different colors, and put a pretty ribbon around them, and they flew out the door. Put them in your booth a couple of days before Valentine's Day so they're fresh. And then vintage cookie cutters. You know, people love to decorate with these. And then vintage um, cake pans. People like to decorate with these. There are so many fun ideas on Pinterest using these as like photo holders and <clears throat> all kinds of fun decor. And then the next one are old red, pink, and white books. These are always fun to decorate with. And people love to leave these out really any time of the year. And then they can carry over into 4th of July and the other holidays. And then pillows and pillow covers. I touched on this one on the last video. You can grab these two on Amazon and any of your big chain stores. And then candles and candle holders are another item that people are looking for. And picture frames, and not necessarily the heart frames, although those are cute too, but mainly just really pretty frames, pinks, reds. Those have always done well for me. I thought this was so cute from the Welch house. And then any kind of trinket tray or dish. And then into your fabrics and linens. I know <clears throat> these vintage hankies are a little harder to find now, but people still like to collect those. Any kind of cute tea towels and table runners. I found these in TJ Maxx. I thought these were so pretty. And especially this red, not, not the heart one, but the red and white one. 
that was behind that one. That would been would have been pretty at Christmas. And then like little fabric pillows that you could stuff down in a bowl. And then that brings me to the fabric or the burlap little hearts that I've always done for my booth. Here are some that I did last year. And I'll link the video down below if you missed that. I have a tutorial on how to make these. And you don't have to use burlap. You can also use other fabric. And these are no sew. I don't know how to sew. I would love to learn how to sew. <laughs> but I just took out my hot glue gun and stuffed these with some old bags. And then I had some old embellishments laying around. And really, the sky's the limit. You could make these however you wanted to. But they're very fun. And they have always done really well for me around the um, Valentine's Day holiday. And then gift bags. I have some of these started. I wanted to do like a full show of all of the cute ones that I had done, but I just didn't get around to it. There's just never enough hours in the day. But these are just some of the cute little ones that I have started just to give you an idea. And then you could put matching tissue paper. Like these are just little fabric hearts that I cut out and just little embellishments that I had that I hot glued on. And these have always done really well for me. I make sure to put coordinating tissue paper down in them. And then sometimes I'll attach a cute little um, gift tag with them. And those have always done really well. And of course you can do these any time of the year really. And there's so many different embellishments that you could do. You could use rubber stamps, you could use old buttons, uh, lace, um, pieces of fabric. If you know how to paint, I mean, the sky's the limit. I found this one on Pinterest. I thought it was really cute. It had coordinating tissue paper with it. And then this was just like a little quick walkthrough of some of the cute little bags and embellishments that Dollar Tree has. But anyway, I hope you guys have found this video helpful. I'm truly about to lose my voice now, so I'm going to sign off. But I do want to introduce you to um, our special guest today is called Magpie Ethel. I absolutely love her Instagram feed. She has bright and bold, kitschy kind of vintage decor. So be sure and head on over to her Instagram page and check her out and send her some love and let us know in the comments what was your favorite thing that we shared today. And let us know if you plan to put any of these items in your booth and we will see you the next time.